everyone. I just wanted to get on here. I haven't done a video in a while and um, I felt like it was time to show off a couple of my new toppers. Um, I may have a slight obsession with these things, um, just like I have a slight obsession with my lipstick. Um, I also sell a lipstick called Lip Sense, which does not smudge, doesn't come off, nothing on your teeth. This color is Bella today. So anyways, I'm gonna get started here. Um, the first topper that I wanted to show you guys, and this is this is my hair, this is my bio hair. Um, I have pa hair powder and topics already in. I have all my hair fiber in, so you can't see my scalp like usual, but my hair is completely thinned in this area. I've got little baby chicks, chick hairs everywhere. Um, it might be getting a little bit better. I, had, I did start using Rogaine, um, which I think has giving me like some little baby hairs and stuff. Sorry, I haven't touched my gray up in forever. Um, I'm just trying to do as little as possible to it. But ever since finding these toppers, I mean, it has just seriously changed my life. I mean, I don't wear my bio hair anymore at all. Um, I wear a different topper every day and I'm just having so much fun with it. And um, I just want you guys to know that there is help out there. Uh, these are so natural. Um, if you get the good ones, the right ones, you can, no one can tell. Everybody always freaks out when I tell them that I'm wearing a hair piece. Okay, so this topper I bought off of eBay. Um, I just wanted to kind of see what some of these cheaper ones were like, and I think this one was literally like $75. Um, it's not the best quality, but it it is actually pretty decent. Um, it says it's human hair. It's a little bit thin on the top, um, and it's a little bit thin hair, but you know, my hair's thin, so it's not really too bad, But this is the inside of it. And then I wanna show you guys, this is the scalp. So it's not too bad. Um, this front piece here, I had to color a little bit darker because otherwise you could see that kind of like light skin colored band when I had it up here. And I also added an extra clip here to hold it down in the front. So let me show you guys this one. So I always start with my hair parted where I want it. And this is probably gonna be hard for me to do on video, like usual, but I'll do the best that I can. And I always start just like maybe a half inch back from my natural hairline. I clip that front clip in, hold it down, clip the sides, clip the back, clip the other side. Okay, and then I take it in that little half inch section that I left out in the front, I just kind of comb it through. I might take some more little baby hairs. I don't have much to comb over. I'm hoping that once it starts to grow out better um, and I get longer hairs going, that I'll be able to wear the topper just a little bit farther back. So I just always brush it in and then poof it up a little bit. Okay, so this is this cheap topper. I'm gonna get up closer here. So this is the scalp. It's pretty nice. I mean, for, for cheap, for like, if you want a cheap every day, I hope you guys can see that, a cheap every day, it's, it's good. Let me show you the back. Sorry, you guys are probably getting nauseous right now. I hope you guys can see this. Okay, so that was the back side. I cut it at like a little angular bob, like I like to wear. So I, yeah, I think for an everyday cheap one, you know, and actually sometimes the grays help, but I think for an everyday cheap one, it's comfortable. Um, I don't know how good quality the hair is yet, but I will let you guys know. And I will also post the link below so you guys know which um, seller I got it from on eBay. It did take like, I think like three weeks for it to come in, but so far I'm pretty happy with it. What do y'all think? Comment below how you think. Um, the only part that really bothered me was this right here in the front. If you can see close enough, it's not super natural there, um, and it doesn't lay completely flat, but that's okay. I mean, I think for the most part, it's a pretty darn good piece. And definitely from afar, you can't see it. Sorry, I hope you guys didn't see my messy room. So there we go, there's that piece. So I'll post the link below which eBay buyer I got this from, okay? Now, drum roll, because I wanna show you guys. Now when you're taking these off, it's always best to unclip it and just kind of peel it back gently because you don't want to take out you know any of your hair and then I always store it the clips closed and on one of my mannequin heads okay so second you guys know how much I love my highline wigs and my girl Sharon um, I mean she has 
the most amazing quality toppers and wigs it's just incredible but they are pricier but if you're going to save up for a good piece you know instead of buying a bunch of cheap pieces i highly recommend saving up for at least one good piece it's okay to have some cheap pieces too to just throw on or you know go to the beach or go swimming but for every you know like for special occasions and stuff these babies y'all i mean how gorgeous and i cut her I colored her just a little bit. She has a little bit of lighter pieces in there, just like caramely color. It's probably hard to see. There, you can see one highlight. It's just very natural. This is actually a three-quarter wig slash topper. So it is almost a wig, except for it stops about right here in the back. So it's not a full wig, doesn't come all the way down. But what I like about this is that with a full topper, you can actually get some length on your hair. And I didn't know that. So I tried one of her three quarter um, toppers because I wanted to see if I could get some length with it. And lo and behold, I got length with it. So I'm gonna show you this, but look at this beauty inside. I mean, it's just, she has the best caps, the best silk, um, the clips, the comb. It's just, it's beautiful. I mean, it's so beautiful. There's her tag, Highline Wigs. And it is in um, Hebrew because she just wants to show that it is kosher. And then these wefts are just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on for you guys right now. And you guys can see this beauty in action. Um, it actually dries wavy, which I love because it's less maintenance that way. And I just, I mean, this, this girl I love. I love, 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 love. And um, I'll post down below to her link. But on Instagram, she's at Highline Wigs. And her name is Sharon, and I can get you in touch with her too. If you guys hunt me down on Facebook, I'll put my information down. Okay, so with this one, it's a little bit trickier. I like to get the part exactly where I need it. So with the comb, I kind of scoop, but you don't want it too tight. I kind of scoop, get it where I want it. And I can always tell where I want it because if one side's gonna be longer, okay. So get it where you want it. You scooped it with the, the comb. Let's clip this side one. And then on this, I like to clip the other side. And this one I wear all the way up at my hairline. Okay, let me clip. And then this one, you kind of, because it goes down farther, you kind of have to pull it a little bit. Make sure it's nice and tight and clip. Let's do the other side, pull it, pull it down. And when you see it, when you get it, you'll you'll know where what I mean when I say pull it down because the cap will kind of just kind of cup your head in the back. It'll kind of like a hat. So once I get this puppy on, like I said, I wear her awfully you like how I call them hers. I Okay, sorry, my video cut off and I don't want to have to remake the whole thing. So <laughs> we're gonna start over again with the longer topper. So I showed you guys the the inside and all that. Let me unclip these again. Sorry, I didn't even realize that my video had cut off and then people were commenting and saying, oh no, your video cut off. I'm like such a dingbat. Hi, Shaiji, and my kid's gonna be in the video because he just woke up from a nap. So excuse me, this is real life. All right, so here we go. This one, like I said, I wear this one close up to the hairline. Clip the side, make sure it's centered where I want it centered. Clip the side of this. Elijah, is that really entertaining? You see mommy's hair? All right, clip the bottom. And this one you kind of have to pull just a little bit and stretch it down because it's got a bigger cap. So it does cover more surface area, um, kind of like a wig would. Um, but this is the three quarter wig topper. And what I love about this is I'm able to get length on my hair without having to wear a full wig. So it's way more comfortable than a full wig and I get the beauty of having long hair. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like me better with long hair or short hair? What do you think, Elijah? My husband likes me better with short hair, but I think that this is kind of sexy. So just want to kind of swing around, show you guys the back, okay? And then the main part, I of course have to get up and show you the scalp because her scalps on these Highline wigs, Sharon, your scalps are amazing. I mean, look at that. There's nothing, Elijah likes to grunt. There is nothing better than a silk scalp, a silk top scalp. I mean, it does not get any more 
realistic than a silk top scalp. Um, I did have some questions about ponytails. I can put it in a ponytail. It just has to be a lower ponytail because if, if you have longer hair, you could do a higher one. But if I did a higher one, then my, my natural would stick out there. So I can do a low ponytail like that. Um, if I want to, I could do, you know, those little top knots are fun right now. So I could always do like a little top knot. I might be too old for a top knot, but I can do top knots. Um, I can do a half up, half down. Those are kind of cute. Um, Tina did a video the other day. You can braid it. You could twist it. Wear it back to the side, just one side. There's so much you can do. And this is a free part. So you can do, if I wanted to do a farther over bang, you just have to wet it down and, <sighs> ah, you just have to wet it down and part it the way that you want it. And then it will stay. Um, so there's a lot of different styles that you can do with this. And I love that it's a free part because it gives you the ability to have different styles and different looks. But once again, let's get up close to that scalp. It is beautiful. That scalp is just insane. I mean, nobody would ever know that this is not my hair, would they, Shaj? No. How cute is he? That's my little miracle boy, if you guys know my story. Um, that's another thing, too. I posted um, on YouTube yesterday my story and journey um, of this last year. For those of you that have just kind of joined and subscribed to me and don't know um, my story and why I have hair loss and how this little monster got here, um, please look at my testimony and my journey. I'd love to share that with you guys. Um, so get a little bit more personal um, please if you want come join um, our Facebook group that I started it's called hair loss sisters and we'd love to have you a part of that group um, Sharon the maker of Highline wigs she posts a lot of pieces for sale on there um, and then people from all over the world we just kind of help each other with hair loss and um, it's become a whole community and it's been a lot of fun and really great to know that there's other women out there like all of us and that there is hope for all of us out there um, so yeah, this is my three quarter wig topper and I appreciate you guys watching. I will keep trying to post more and more videos and um, thanks for watching. Bye.